Welcome back. This is Kenshin1913. And goes your film. And we are Let's Playing Hexen. Yeah. And in the last episode, Jan drank the toast champagne. Yeah. <laughs> and I did look through the paperwork, and I can talk about damn near anything I want. Yeah. Which is real good. I can talk about Thomas Stout. I still can't talk about Todd, like his faults and shortcomings, but I can't talk about events which Todd was in, yeah. which is fine, but um, I noticed that, yeah, there was a loophole, so maybe I could talk about his shortcomings in an event that he, like, that he was in. Like, let's say he was playing basketball and he's just terrible at basketball. I can talk about how terrible he is at basketball because I'm talking about the event in which he was playing basketball. I mean, yeah. there's no way you can talk about someone playing basketball, either them being good or bad, without talking about their skills, right, Dan? Yeah. So I'm going to go through the loophole there on that one. But, uh, yeah, Todd is pretty... There was this one time we were playing basketball, and he was really bad at it. The, how did I die? Because he shot it back at you. Oh. Yeah, and you went, and went reverse, reverse. <coughs> like that song. You do the left, to the left? No, no, the, you know that song where they're like, reverse, reverse. I don't know that. Uh, do the cha-cha now, see? This is why oh, you're not... Oh, yeah. And then it goes... Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that song. Of course you don't like that song, Dan. It makes you want to get up and dance. Yeah, I'm not a dancer. No, you're not. I'm, a, I, I'm more of a guy who sits in a chair with his arms folded and yeah, with, a, but, with a frown. Yeah, but how nice was it at that wedding, though? We finally got Ant to get up and dance with my friends, with my brother. Yeah, huh? yeah. So he would not get up and dance with my brother at all, all night. And finally, my brother, and I think you helped, we just, we just I got think him. we just cornered him. Yeah, we just got him up off the goddamn chair and, like, he fucking danced with Steve. I wish we had a, you have one help. I wish we had a fucking picture of him. This level is this level's kind of stingy with the health. Yeah, you know what else it's stingy with? The lady. Yeah. There's no ladies no, in here. Yeah, there's yeah, no ladies. I should be like. Yeah. Like getting like. Getting yeah, you on. should be getting on. You should be like, hey. Yeah, like. <laughs> uh, how that song go? I'm still feeling now with my ex. Yeah, they got your soul. I think they just mumble, the, mumble through the song. When if you feel like I feel when you're woman or something. Let's get on. Anyway, speaking of Ant, Ant almost beat me up that night. Why? Because he was going to. You wanted to dance with him, you didn't want to dance with him. No, he that's wanted. How, that's how effed up Ant is. It's like. A person wants to dance with him. And he won't even, you know, he won't even be like, okay, I'll dance with him. Not even if it's a dude or a lady, just to be like, okay, I'll be nice and dance with him. No, he won't even do that. What's that all about, Dan? I don't know. But he want, but you guys were going into the photo booth and taking all kinds of like gay pictures, and then yeah. Ant wanted. Oh no, they weren't gay. They were hot. Oh yeah, they were hot. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, Ant wanted me to go into the photo booth with them, but he was like, he was all nasty about it, and he was like. Get up, boy! And he called me boy like that, and yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. fuck this. I'm, if he's gonna talk to me this way, I'm not gonna do it. And so he was like, get the fuck up! And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Oh. And so he like grabbed onto my arm, but he was like, I was in a sitting position, and he was standing right next to me, and he grabbed onto my arm, and he didn't really have the leverage to hold onto my arm, so I just kept twisting my, uh, you know, twisting my arm out of his grip. And then he was like, and he was like getting all like nasty to me, and I and I was you like, you should have done I said, Aunt, we're at a wedding. Don't make a scene. Yeah. And like, cause he's he's kind of retarded. Like, I feel like he he can't handle that like authoritative oh, oh, he tone. Can handle that. No, but if you speak to you him, you should kiss him. That would've been the best. You just yeah. give him like a, like a nice little kiss on the cheek. He'll stop trying to order you around. I should have just grabbed Come his on balls. Your boy. He'll... Let me tell you, Aunt. All right, he was one of the groomsmen at the wedding. All right. Yeah. Kid, the kid is extremely homophobic. Not as homophobic as Thomas Dow, which is kind of funny because Thomas Dow. Is supposedly He's a slightly less retarded than yeah him. yeah yeah so uh, supposedly Thomas Stout is a normal human being but anyways um supposedly I've yeah never... that's why that's why I said supposedly anyways uh, so you know during the uh, wedding I, I, we were we were standing there listening whatever Justice of Peace talking about I, uh, fuck if I know <laughs> anyways um, uh, basically um, me and my brother because I was standing behind the and my brother was standing in front of Ant, I 
would take my hand and then just touch Ant's bottom, right? And then Ant would kind of go, ooh, but he can't, he can't go crazy because the wedding is happening, you understand? And then my brother would go back and try to grab his paws. So Ant was in between both of us, trying not to fucking move too much. Because he's in the fucking wedding, he's literally in the wedding. And we're just making these, like, just these small little gestures. Like, we're all standing like at an angle, so you can't see my hand going to grab Ant's bottom, uh -huh. and you can't see my brother's hand like going to grab Ant's junk. Uh -huh. But and then Ant's just like, he's just like stiff as a board, you know, like a, <laughs> like, like a fucking piece of wood. He's like, <laughs> it was fucking great. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. And he couldn't do anything. That's why I was the best. And you know what? He had the, oh. he had the sense not to fucking just start screaming. Say, fucking stop it, man. You know, you know, he's a good dude that way. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't want to fuck up his friend, his friend Todd's wedding, you know what yeah. I mean? By fucking just screaming, stop touching my dick and my ass, man. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine, like, like, a third of the way through the ceremony, they're like, do you, Todd, stop fucking touching me, man, <laughs> you know? And we didn't, it wasn't like we were constantly doing it. We did it like maybe like three times the whole time. I mean, but it was still fun. <laughs> was it fun. noticeable? Like, did, did like you if tell you, if you were in the were, audience? I don't know. I don't know because I was standing next to Ant, so I don't know if it was noticeable. But I came in late, so I, I didn't even get to see your uh, Princess Bride speech. Yeah. I couldn't find the place, which is weird because it's like, it was only like a block away from a place that I go hiking at all the time. Uh huh. Yeah, it was a pretty good place too, I do have to admit, it was real nice. Yeah. Very spacious, very it was just a nice place. I mean they picked a good job of uh picking the picking the joint. It was a nice nice <coughs> place. Yeah. So at, in in Todd's wedding they had a, a a bunch of cool stuff there. They had, you know, the potato bar. They had, you know, the, the nice buffet with the fucking macaroni what is that macaroni grill thing? What the macaroni bar? Very good. They had, uh, you know, chicken and vegetables and all this good food. Oh, jeepers. And then, and then for favors, basically, they were giving candy out. And, uh, you, the, the guests could take the candy home, which was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I didn't take any. I'm not a candy nah, person. Yeah, I didn't take any candy either because I ate enough and I was like, I don't need any candy. But by the end of the fucking night, there was hardly any good candy left. But, um... So one of the things that they had, like uh, at the wedding, was a uh, was a photo booth, which was pretty cool. I thought the photo booth was pretty cool. They had a fucking DJ, right? Mm -hmm. A fucking like a professional DJ guy. They had fucking two. They had two sets of photographers. It's like it was like holy shit. They, they, like I wonder how much they fucking spent on all this shit with uh, the photographers and all this stuff. And then they had like a camera crew, but I heard that they didn't like pay too much. They were like Rhea's friends or some shit. But still, that's a lot of fucking money. But and then they had the... Uh, I don't know if you guys know who this guy is. If you're wrestling fans, you'll probably know who he is. He's the Fink, Howard Finkel. And basically, he uh, he uh, announced uh, them down. And he announced all the groomsmen, the wedding party and all that. Yeah. And that was very cool. But <clears throat> he was a lot... He was pretty expensive too. But you know what? If that was going to... If that was going to be your one thing, then just make that your one thing. You know what I mean? They did have a lot of fun stuff. Like I did, I don't want, I don't want to say that that was the funnest wedding, because I tried to one day like sit down after Todd's wedding and rate the weddings that I have been to, but I can't because they're all so very close. Like they're just, I just had a ton of fun in them, and like they're so close that I can't really say, you know what, this wedding was better than this wedding. And I tried to do it where I wasn't putting. I tried to do it too, Dan, where I wasn't saying, oh, it was because this is my sister's wedding. This is why this one was so awesome. Or, oh, you know, it was my brother's wedding. This is why this was so awesome. Or, you know, it was my best friend's wedding. Uh, this is why that was so awesome. I tried to, like, just take them all in perspective and try to figure out which one was the best, but I don't know. Because they're just, they were all just so good. Die, you son and of a even bitch. Though, and even though sometimes they would have their, their there would be bad spots, like at, at Joe and Giselle's wedding with the, uh, Justice of the Peace, or like at Todd's wedding, was just like not telling anyone what oh, was going to happen. You know, those were <laughs> bad parts, but they, they, you know, overall they just ended up being really fun. Hmm. I need to get my stuff to the 
best of my ability. Yeah, come on, Dan. Fucking win or something. I'm not I'm not a winner, beat. Yeah, I can figure that. Well, at least they're fighting in there. Yeah, maybe they're maybe they're doing something else besides fighting, if you know what I mean, Dan. Maybe they're like jerking each other off. Yeah. Maybe they're whacking it like, you know, no one no one knows. Ugh. Someone actually mentioned that you sound like you're uh you're going to the bathroom whenever you're fighting dudes. Yeah, I know. We, we, we say that every time, every episode. No, no, no. See, someone else mentioned it, not me. He's like, and then he actually asked if, how your bowels are, and he, he said maybe you should go see a uh, colonoscopist or something, you know, gastroenterologist. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe you should go um, see. Someone. You know what? That just shows the the quality of our fans. Like, not I'm sure that not many other people have fans who look out for the, the colon health of the people that they no, watch. No, 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 not at all. Like, Nintendo Capri Suns fans don't don't care about his colon health. No, I don't think so. I bet you if you ask them, they probably wouldn't give two shits about it. No, him. they don't care. Thomas Stout, they don't care about his colon health. No, I don't even... I'm Thomas Stout's friend, I don't even care about Yeah, him. like his... I cared more about his mother's colon because they, they said that she might have had colon cancer and then they found out, you know, that she didn't. And thank God. Yeah. But if Sue left this world, I don't know what I would do. I know, like, then we'd be stuck with Thomas Stout. Yeah, then we would be stuck with just Thomas Stout, and I don't know if I could handle that. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm I glad... I don't live in I'm, that world. I'm glad she's got a semi-clean bill of health, at least colon-wise. But, yeah, yeah, no one cares about Thomas Stout's colon enough to fucking I know. be like, you know... It just you know, shows that our check. fans yeah. are much more loyal. Yeah, way yes. more loyal. Why do you want to run through that with six? I think you should. Give it at least one try. What was that? A big risk, big reward, Dan. You'll get a fucking spear. 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 You get a fucking cock. Whoa. I did Here it. You go. You got it, Dan. You got it. You fucking did it. You, now you can leave and and uh, give someone a thing. So, Dan, let me ask you this question. All right, now that we're in the world of, oh, you got fucked in the ass. Yeah. I'm sorry, I dropped that F-bomb on the A. But anyways, Dan, now that you're in the world of Hex in here, all right, what do you think about, since it's very kind of post-apocalyptic, uh, lipstick, post-apocalyptic. What, now or in the game? I don't know, Dan. What do you think about the death of a Twinkie, even though it's really not dead? I never ate Twinkie, so I don't really care. Yeah, all right, look at that. Next topic. Um, Dan, what do you think about the, the uh, state of uh, the Union? Alright, Dan. Alright, Dan. <laughs> I, uh, I don't really... <laughs> let's see, what else could we I talk don't think... about? Oh, what the... I... Oh Dan, God. how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? Three. Alright, fine. Next question. We're, getting, we're, we're fucking rolling through these. Dan, if you had a hundred sticks... Right? What the... Why can't I strafe? Did I walk into a wall or something? What is over there? I must have got wedged into the corner. Dan, if you had 100 sticks, and I took 5 sticks, my brother took 4 sticks, and my sister took 8 sticks, how many sticks would you have left? Uh, 83. <laughs> nice job, Dan! Look at that, not only can this guy play Hexen and die constantly, Yeah. he can do math. Yeah, that's right. Oh, ladies, see this guy's a catch. I know, ladies, why do you keep turning your noses up at me when I'm such a good, I'm so good at math? I know, we know how many sticks he has, Dan. I know. <laughs> I... If it's one thing Dan knows, it's the amount of sticks he has. Yeah. He's got 83. Yeah, that's right. I hate this guy, Pete. Maybe you should wait until you get up there and get him with the knife. Where the hell did he go? He left. He heard that he needed to get the oh! <laughs> he to get a couple sticks from you. So. Dan, what is going on? I think we should just, I think we should just stop playing this game. Dan, we have to beat it. Do you have any other save files that would be close to this one? No. A different character? I don't know. <laughs> but we could do some experimenting after this episode. All right. Because I'm going to actually have to take a break for, let's say, pooping? 10 minutes. No, Dan, it's not pooping. Mate, what if it... Well, I don't know. Dan, I don't want to tell people that I'm an actual human being and that's the poop and pee. And, you know, this should be like a death, drink. like a little counter to, to show how yeah. many times I've died at this part alone. Dan, if I got really creative, I could do that for you, but that's a lot of work. <laughs> I understand. But you probably died, let's say, eight, ten times just in this, just on this one guy. He just keeps putting his shield up there. Is he dead? 
So anyways, Dan, you know, you don't, like, as a ce as celebrities like us, you don't want to let other people know that we do real things like other celebrities, you know what I mean? We're celebrities? Uh, yeah, Dan, we're internet celebrities. We don't need to show, we don't need to tell people when we have to go to the bathroom, eat, drink, or brush our teeth or anything like that. They just think we have people who do that for us, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they, uh, you know, you go and you take a dump and then they wipe, you know, people come and wipe our bottoms. Yeah, it's almost like <laughs> we're playing and like a pit crew comes up and we go, yeah. you lift up our legs a little bit and they, yeah. and, and they come in with or their, they come in and they with give their bedpan and their, their, yeah, uh, and they come in and they feed the me spray some bottles food. and they're like, doo, 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 doo. Yes. And, then, and then our butts are taken care of. Yeah, or they come in and they, they open my jaw, they, they put the food in and they just chew for me and <laughs> it's like... <laughs> And it's like this is the best. Yeah. We are living the life. Yeah, we are what living the, the life. F. You were mashing the thing by the thing. Dan, I think we should stop here. I personally think we should stop here because you're having a lot of trouble. Yeah. And I think you should while uh, I'm going I'm gonna go read over those documents. Alright. <laughs> you, you can find out if uh, you can find out if we have if you have another character that's around this area. Alright. Right. That'd be a good idea because Maybe. then no, because then we could uh, we can show off the all three characters in one LP instead of doing bonuses. All right. Well, my butthole pit crew is like standing over there on the sidelines yeah. waiting. They are waiting. They're ready to fuel us up. So we'll right. be back in the next episode. Bye bye. Pa